In this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install a script with V as well as a script with V.net for GTA 5, the easiest and fastest way I know in 2025. Let's begin. Now, the first step to install a script hook is pretty obvious. We have to download it. Click on the second link in the description, which is an in-depth guide on how to download and install a script hook V as well as a script hook V.net. Okay. Now, once in here, you don't have to read through the whole thing. This is just in detail for those of you that like to read. All you have to do is to scroll down to step one and then click on this button in here, which is going to redirect you to the official script hook V page. Once in here, we're going to click the download button. Sometimes instead of showing it in here, it's going to show it over here on the left, kind of without all the pretty stuff in here. It's just going to be pretty technical and you're just going to hit download. That is going to begin the download right away of a script V. And as you can see, my browser is telling me if I want to keep this file, I'm obviously going to go ahead and keep it. If you are familiar with GTA modding, you know that a script V sometimes is detected as a harmful file, but it's fine. You could just download it and install it, right? So once you download a script V, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now, if you also want to install a script of v.net, stay around in this video because I'm going to show you how to do that super quick at the end. But right now, we're just going to install a script of v. Once we have the script of v file or script of 5 file, it's time to open the installation folder of GTA 5. And that is also why that article that I'm leaving in the second link in the description is kind of important because in here, if you scroll down a little bit, you will find the most common locations for GTA 5 directory, right? Either if you have it through Epic Games, Steam, or Rockstar. You could just copy that a string of text in there into your file explorer and then find your folder. But regardless, I'm gonna show you how to find your GTA 5 game. You could just open the launcher where you purchase your game through. Now I have the game on both Epic Games as well as Steam, so I'm gonna show you how to find the installation folder in both. Now, let's say you have it through Epic Games, just head over to your library, find GTA 5 in here, and then click on these three dots and click manage and then Click on installation right here on this open install location folder icon in there. And that is going to give you the folder that you need. And this is the folder that we're going to keep open right now. Let's say that you have the game through Steam instead of Epic Games. You could just head over to your library as well. Right click on GTA 5, click manage and then click browse local files and that will open the folder well, we have the game installed as well, right? So no matter where you have the game, you'll be able to locate it. And in the article in the description, you also have the common install locations of the game. Now, once you have this folder open, I want you to go ahead and put it to one side of your screen. So you could just drag it to one side of your screen. And on the other side, we're going to double click the script of V file that we downloaded. If you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, you should be able to open this file without any issues. This is a zip file, however. So if you have any other outdated Windows or stuff like that, you might have to install WinRAR or 7-Zip or something like that. Now, once you open that that file, I want you to go ahead and open the bin folder in here. And we're going to go ahead and drag and drop some files from here into over here. The first file is going to be the D input eight that DLL file. Make sure you are able to see your file extensions to know that you are in the proper thing. So you could always click on view, show and then file name extensions in here to be able to see those file name extensions. But let's go ahead and drag and drop the D input eight file into over here. Just go ahead and well, I'm going to replace my file because I already had it. But you could always just add it in there without replacing it. And by the way, guys, always make sure to make a backup of your GTA 5 folder before you mod it. I do recommend that you always do that so you don't ruin your game, right? So you could always just duplicate your game before adding anything in here. And now we're also going to add the script of v.dll file. And you also have the option to add the native trainer.asi file. I don't recommend you add that unless you want a native trainer. Or if you plan on adding the menu 2.0, for example, mod later on, you don't have to add this native trainer, right? Now, guys, lastly, we're going to add this args that txt file into our game that is to make sure that our anti-sheet system doesn't detect the script of v file and doesn't close our game right so now once you added all of that you could close out from that script of five folder and you could actually delete that zip file you don't need it anymore and now you could just launch your game and test out a script hook now before we go ahead and do that if you want to install a script of v dot net just head over to that second link in the description and then you scroll down to the step that says download and install the script of v.net and once over here we're going to download the script of v.net by clicking on this button that is going to redirect you over here where we're going to find the most recent version of the script of v.net click on it and then scroll down and download the zip file for a script of v.net by clicking on it that is going to begin the download right away just drag and drop that file into your desktop just like we did earlier open the zip file and just like we did with every file earlier Go ahead and open the install location of your game and you're going to drag and drop a script of v.net ASI, a script of v.net INI, a script of v.net DLL, 
and then the third one as well. So all these files in here, these three files in here or four files, my bad, you're going to go ahead and drag and drop over here. You might have to replace some files in here. That's totally fine. Just go ahead and drag and drop everything into there. And that is it, guys. You now have a Scribble5 installed as well as a Scribble5.net. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.